Uniting America with truth, justice, and independence. This is the Norman Goldman Show. Richard in Illinois, thank you for calling the Norman Goldman Show. Hey, Norm, two weeks ago you used the term ugly American, and uh, you hung up before I could comment on it. But when you, when There you was a book, about, you know there's a book by that name. Yes. And it was I had, written and when I was an infant. You're aware of that. I know. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Check uh, it out. There's a book called The Ugly American. They even made a movie out of it. But most, most, of, most of your your listeners probably don't understand that it it means that you go to other countries and expect them to cater to your to your culture and personality and everything you believe in as an American. But you don't you don't apply the same standards to the ugly Mexican and the ugly Nairobian and the ugly Afghanistan and the ugly Irishman and the ugly. I mean, there's so many cultures that come here to America. And then the hyphen of their country, then a hyphen, and then America. I mean, other than a few lawyers in that Mexican American thing that that won the uh, won the case in the Supreme Court for the for the voting rights in Mexican American uh, Legal Defense and Education Fund Maldef. Right, but all of their all of their money that they get are from people who can't even read the Constitution. Because they don't read or speak English. I don't know what I mean, country you're living in, Richard, but uh, when immigrants come here, the first thing they want to do is assimilate their kids, well, especially their kids. Uh, many of the kids of illegal immigrants don't even speak their mother tongue. They've never been to their native land. I mean, they love the, the melting pot that is America. I'll grant you that the initial immigrants, are oftentimes, you know, new people in a new land, they cling to their old ways, they speak their old language. I, you know, this is just normal human behavior. But I'll bet, but I'll bet you've been to other countries. I have. I've been to other countries. Yes, I have. There is no such thing as an African German, an African Frenchman. Actually, you should you should go check it out, man. They don't like they don't in Germany. They're not doing too well with the Turks. Right. There's a lot of people in a lot of other countries that don't like the immigrants in their country, legal or otherwise. Germany's having big I... problems. Right. France is having a huge problem with Muslims of varying countries. England's got a massive problems with the Pakistanis. But, but Norm, both here they assimilate, Richard. Here they assimilate. In others, in those places, they don't assimilate, and there's all kinds of trouble brewing in those countries because they but get yeah. segregated into ghettos, and there's a lot of unrest. Norm, if there are certain parts of Paris, dude, you don't want to be going near. That's true. But I mean, when you talk to somebody that says, you, you, "No, no." No habla español, and they look at you like you're some kind of a, of a of a person from outer space, and you're thinking, "Now wait a minute." The last time I looked on top of the flagpole, it wasn't green and white and black; it was red, white, and blue. And you're and you're mad at me because I don't speak a foreign language. This is this is where it it is a bit frustrating when you want to support immigrant rights, but. They come here not to be Americans that understand. No, Richard, you're wrong. Our, our, they they well, come here for a better future. They come here for a better life, and and they get one. It takes time. You're you're just way biased. You're looking at this saying, the moment you come to the United States, you must abandon your culture, you must abandon your language. At the moment you cross the threshold of America, you've got to become an American. People aren't like that, man. You have no understanding. The kids adopt American culture. It, it takes one generation. One generation. And this has been the way America's been since George Washington was president. Richard, you know, you try going to another country and see how welcoming they are of foreigners. America has always been very welcoming of foreigners, and we, maybe not you, but the rest of us, understand it takes some time to restore chaos, okay? It'll take time. It'll take time to restore chaos. There you go. Uniting America with truth, justice, and independence. This is the Norman Goldman Show.